there grade 10 students how are you today welcome to another week of learning new things i'm gladys s morarel your tle teacher join me as we explore the kinds and uses of hair developers in tle there is knowledge skills and progress get your pen answer sheet and learning activity sheet and let's begin our hair dressing journey the most essential learning competency for our lesson is to apply hair color also at the end of the lesson you should be able to number one prepare and use tools materials implements following occupational health and safety requirements. Number two, select and mix color and developer according to client's hair condition, length, and desired outcome. I'm sure you have noticed that people have and prefer certain hair colors. I know some of you already went to the salon and have your hair colored. In this activity, we will know the tools, materials, and cosmetics used in hair coloring and steps on how to apply hair dye. These are the tools, materials, and cosmetics used in hair coloring. Tools, handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Comb separates the hair and removes tangles. Plastic bowl container where you can prepare hair dye. Hairbrush loosens dandruff and removes dirt. Flat and curling iron to flatten or curl the hair. Hair dryer to dry and style hair. Hair brushes used in hair care for smoothing, styling, and detangling human hair or for grooming. Materials supplies that are used during service and need to be replaced for each client. Towel used to absorb excess water from the hair tissue used especially for cleaning timer a device that makes a sound when a certain amount of time has passed spatula used to mix hair dye neck strip used to drape the neck Cosmetics, substances applied to the hair that are intended to improve hair appearance. Talcum powder, used to make the skin feel dry and smooth. Conditioner, used to make hair softer and less dry. Shampoo, used for cleaning the hair. Hair mousse. Product added to hair for extra volume and shine. Homemade, oil-based or water-based product designed for sleek and tight hairstyle. Hair gel, protects the hair and enhance and define curls. Hair wax, used to assist the hair. Hair spray, Used to protect the hair against humidity and wind. Hair volumizer. Used to temporarily add volume and shine to thin or flat hair. Hair dye. Substances used to color hair. Selecting and mixing hair color and developer. Number one. Method one of two. Mixing dye and developer. One, two boxes of hair dye if you have long or coarse hair. Two, 
plastic bowl for mixing the dye and developer. Three, an old towel or newspaper where the hair dye will sit. Four, put on plastic gloves. Five, Combine the hair dye and developer using a 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 ratio. 6. Mix this together until the mixture is smooth and consistent in color and texture. Number 2. Method 2 of 2. Combining colors. 1. Two complementary colors from the same brand to mix together. Two, take note of the lighting strength of both colors. Three, combine a one is to one ratio of the two hair dyes together. Four, Mix together the two different hair dyes that you have already combined and then add the developer. 5. Write down the color combination after you have dyed the hair. This means that you can replicate easily in the future if you want to dye your own hair again. There are different kinds and uses of developers. Number one, 40 volume developer is the strongest and has the potential to produce significant changes. It will leave the hair for shades and is suitable for bland, especially used to leave colors. Number two, 30 volume developer allows to lighten the hair while coloring by two or three levels and allows more pigment to embed into the hair shaft. If the hair is not very damaged and you want a lighter and more lasting color, 30 volume developer can be a great option. Number three, 20 volume developer is used to slightly lighten hair and allow permanent pigments to get inside the hair cuticle. Most hair dye will require a 20 volume developer to hair color. Number four, 10 volume developer is a standard oxidizing level for permanent no leaf hair color. It's designed for use when you want to add a color tone or tint to the hair of the same lightness level. It also opens the hair cuticle layer, allowing the color molecules to penetrate and deposit in the cortex. What's fun here is that we can color our own hair. However, we have to follow the correct procedure for better results. Here are the preliminary steps. Number one, apply hair dye on dry unwashed hair. The oil will protect the scalp while it is being colored. Number two, assess how many levels you are lifting. Do a very accurate assessment of every part of the client's hair. Number three, Choose the correct strength of hair developer. Number four, measure the hair dye and developer carefully. Number five, measure the hair color and developer using the kitchen scale. Then prepare your client for application. Once you're done with those, do the following procedures. Number one, prepare the needed tools, cosmetics, and supplies. Materials and cosmetics should be well arranged in a tray and within which to facilitate work. Number two, drape the patron, lay the cape over the shoulder with the opening at the back to protect the patron's clothes. 
Number three, analyze the patron's hair and scalp before combing and brushing the hair free from tangles. Also remove dirt and loose dandruff. Number four, section the hair into four to five portions. Number five, apply the hair dye. Leave the hair dye for 30 minutes to change the hair color. Number six, shampoo the hair, then rinse thoroughly. Number seven, towel dry the hair before styling it. Hair coloring is a way of life for many people, sometimes for creative reasons and sometimes for simply covering up gray strands. Hair coloring may actually offer up more benefits than just covering up signs of aging. It can protect the hair from environmental hazards like pollution, wind, excessive heat from the sun, and cold temperature during winter. I love experimenting with coloring my hair, but a lot of women are unsure and have doubts and misconceptions about doing so. Hi, I'm Isha at Glamorous and today I'm going to show you how easy and inexpensive it is to color your own hair at home. Make sure to do an allergy test before you color your hair. Apply a small dab of color and developer mixed together right behind your ears and leave it on for 48 hours. Do not skip this step. Also, make sure that you haven't washed your hair 24 hours before coloring. But when you're ready to color your hair, you can't have it wet at all. Two mirrors, one in front of you and one small mirror behind to see what's happening at the back of your head. You can also make two with just one mirror. A mixing bowl to mix everything together, a hair color brush, a towel to cover yourself, some butterfly clips, a little petroleum jelly, a pair of gloves, and of course, most importantly, a hair color of your choice. I'm using Gothridge Expert Rich Creme in Burgundy. Now there are five shades in this range. I've chosen Burgundy because I think it'll go well with my skin tone. Using a comb, part your hair into four equal sections. Two in the front and two in the back. And clip each section up. This will help in getting an even coverage across all your hair. Apply petroleum jelly on the hairline, around your ears and at the nape of your neck. This will prevent your skin from getting stained. First thing, put on your gloves. You will see that there are two sachets, the creme coloring and the developer. The sachets are pre-measured, so you can empty them both completely without the trouble of having to measure. Now for short medium hair, one packet should do, but for my longer length hair, I'm going to need another packet mixed in for a full color application. This smells nice. This doesn't contain ammonia like some other hair colors. What this does contain is aloe and milk protein, which helps keep your hair soft and shiny. Now we're ready to start with the application. Drape your towel around your shoulders, unclip the first section, and using the brush with the tail comb, start applying the color from the center of your head. Since this is a creme color, you will get a rich, smooth mixture, which is really easy to apply. Using the end of the brush, make another straight section and apply more of the color directly on the roots. Keep repeating this until both your front sections are covered and then clip them back up. Now let's move on to the back sections. Unclip one and apply the color starting at the center. Using the end of the brush, make a diagonal section and apply more of the color directly on your roots. Repeat this technique for both the back sections and clip them up again. This completes the roots. Unclip one front section 
and take a 1 inch thick section of hair. Hold it in your hands and apply the color starting at mid length, working it in towards the end. Repeat this for all four sections. There, that's the application all done. Twist your hair into a tight bun and leave it on for 30 minutes. This creme color is great because it doesn't drip at all. So you can spend your time doing whatever you like without worrying about it dripping anywhere. After 30 minutes, it's time to rinse your hair out with plain water. Once your rinse is done, squeeze out any excess water and apply a conditioner, one that is specially meant for colored hair. Leave it on for 3 minutes and finish off by rinsing well. I really like the way this has turned out. The color has gone on even. It's a subtle color, so it's easy to pull off anywhere. So when you're ready to color your hair, I recommend using Godrej Expert Rich Creme. It's easy to make and apply, and it's given me a fresh new look. And that's it for now. See you again on the next quarter. Only here at DepEd MPTV.